Good morning, you guys. It's Chloe here. So today is just another episode on my dry skin series. And this one's going to be a little bit more messy and complex. That's why it sounds like I have plastic underneath me because I like to prevent my stuff to getting food on them. So if it's a little noisy, so sorry. So what you'll need for this dry skin mask is one peeled de-stemmed carrot that you want to take to a boil. And then when it's done boiling, you want to mash it up like this paste kind of look. Or you can blend it, look like a pulp if you blend it. Half an avocado, one egg yolk, jojoba oil, and some honey. A tablespoon so we can measure out the um, honey and jojoba oil. So what you want to do with those ingredients is grab the carrots, grab that half an avocado, put it into the carrots, and you're gonna wanna try to mash that avocado with the carrots. So the reason why I'm using a carrot is because it has some potassium in it that helps prevent that dry skin, and it also helps tone the skin from its anti-inflammatory properties. The rest of the ingredients are just there to help lock in the moisture into the skin where it's dry. I want to add the rest of the ingredients. One egg yolk, one tablespoon of honey, and then a half a tablespoon of jojoba oil. I don't know if I told you guys this, but yes, it's going to get messy. And then mix all of that together. Okay, and this isn't just for um, your face. This can be for um, elbows, your knees, your legs, shoulders, all of that. And that's what I'm doing here today. I'm gonna put it all over my neck, my face, my elbows, a little bit of my knees, and some of my shoulders, just because I'm gonna put it all over where I feel dry. So let's go ahead and apply. So you can apply it after the shower, before the shower, or like, I don't know, at night, I guess, in the morning, it doesn't matter, but I'm just applying it in the morning because starting my day off with a nice, clean, moisturized, like, skin and not like a dry feeling all day. That's just my preference. And it's okay if you get this in your hair. All of these products are really good for the hair. So if you want to put it on the scalp line, go ahead. Just really focusing on where I've been feeling dry lately. And I've already tell this feels a lot better than like putting lotion on even because lotion even makes you feel super dry after. I don't know about you, but it does me. And you're going to want to leave this on for roughly 15 to 20 minutes just so you know you get a pretty decent result. Usually what I think is the longer you leave it on, the better result. Go ahead and try to add some to my knees and a little bit to my shins because that can get really dry from shaving and I don't like having dry legs especially in this type of weather I want them to be nice and smooth and moisturized goes the other knee <laughs> and leg and my hair too just because I'd like to know what you do with this mask um, I'd like to know if you use it all over your body or if you just use it on your face and how it worked for you. So, awesome. Now I'm gonna let this sit for 15 to 20 minutes and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and I will be back with the results. Wow, so wasn't that just a blast? <laughs> awesome, so honestly, it made my hair feel 10 out of 10, like it always does. I knew avocado and all those little oils and egg yolk and stuff always makes my hair feel good, always. 10 out of 10. Now on my skin, since I honestly applied it everywhere, my whole body feels softer than a baby's bottom. <laughs> no joke. I wish you guys can like see and feel through the camera. Oh, it's so nice. It feels like I just <sighs> cleansed my whole body. <laughs> I don't know. Anywho, you know, an after moisturizer for, you know, most people who like to put lotion on after, I would recommend just a little vitamin E oil because it's a light oil that can help get rid of the little dryness spots that you have, like a little bit on those alligator elbows or those knees, 
but yeah that's just what I recommend it's not too like yucky and it doesn't have any of those toxins in it it's just all natural a light oil that helps keep it moisturized comment below on how it made your skin feel and tell me what you guys do for your dry skin remedies if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my dry skin series <laughs> thank you guys for watching